is News 2 at 11. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 2 at 11. I'm Brendan Clark. A 2005 disappearance now turned homicide case of a North Charleston woman is one step closer to closure. Brandy Hanna was last seen May 20th, 2005, and her boyfriend at the time is now charged with obstruction of justice. North Charleston police say Garland Eugene Lankford provided misleading information regarding Brandy's disappearance. We spoke with Sergeant Ron Locker, who's been working this case for years now, and he says they're close to figuring out what exactly happened that night. But he said there are still at least two others who know what happened to Brandy. News 2's Libba Holland has more. An 11-year-old disappearance case now called a homicide. Legally declared deceased back in 2013. And police have a suspect now in custody for obstruction of justice. Garland Lankford was Brandy Hanna's boyfriend at the time of her disappearance. When she first disappeared, Lankford said he had planned to see her that night, May 20th, but ended up working late. Police have his work records, though, that state otherwise. When confronted with the evidence that we've recovered and some other things that uh, I can't really talk about, um, he had changed his statement to that he may have gone over there. After a feature of Hannah's disappearance aired on Investigation Discovery, new community tips and evidence came up. There was a, uh, some letters that Brandy had actually written to Mr. Langford um, the last week prior to her going missing. She also had a day planner that mapped out when she talked and saw Langford for the month of May. Uh, he made a pattern once he had left her residence to go back with his ex-wife. Um, at least every day or every other day he would, upon finishing work, stop by Brandy's apartment. So why now, finally filing charges after all these years? Langford is currently in jail on unrelated child molestation charges. That puts the ball in authorities' court. But basically with him being held in a detention center, it, it, it definitely helped because I know where he's at, and at that point I can go reach out to him and, and pull him in for an interview and talk. Police also say there are others in the community who know what happened. He's giving them a chance to come forward before police find them. There's definitely two other people uh, of interest right now that we believe or uh, have direct knowledge of her disappearance, uh, what happened to her, um, one possibly... Uh, played a role in in her disappearance. So the next step is to wait. Have you ever had a case like this? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Something that devoted this much time and it's been this uh, complicated just from people being silent. Uh, no, I haven't. Hopefully never